Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Trailmakers. It's been a bit. It's been a hot minute. But we're back again, and I have yet another challenge. And today that challenge, if I choose to accept it, would be to build a missile launcher. A mobile missile launcher, in fact. So, I was given this task once again by Raven. Thank you very much for your wonderful ideas and your beautiful challenges to make me think a little bit. Because I need that, just a little bit. So, my idea is I'm kind of going to build something along the lines of an APC. I kind of, I've been toying around with like ideas in my head thinking should I make a trailer like have just a cab up front then a trailer hitch so it kind of swivels and stuff and I might do that we'll just see how it goes I gotcha now let's first decide on a cockpit I think you you know you've got to do the armored no I don't wanna are you making me I don't want that silly everything's gonna be red I, st I haven't changed my color uh, I don't care. Okay, it'll be a red APC. So you gotta start with the armored block. Just because, you know, you're going for uh, an attack kind of feel. Right, so let's see what we can do. I want it to be a little bit... No, I'm gonna have to do it, guys. Ugh. No, not wedges. I will... I refuse. I will only use rounded blocks. They disgrace me less than the wedges do. Okay, so I want it to just be kind of a little bit less blocked up front. Now let's make a wheel well. Probably end up putting it right there. Should I put steering at the bottom of it so it can steer farther out? That might be... Hmm. I don't know if I've ever used that method before. That might actually help it steer without running into itself. This is looking really strange. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine though, that's fine. Our, what do we do, off-road wheels? Sure, we'll do that. That looks strange, man. This is not looking like an APC at all. <laughs> okay. That's fine, that's fine. All right, let's start working on the back of the truck. I think we'll just make it one solid piece. Okay, so there's the back of the truck. Not looking too fancy. So let's work on wheel placement. We'll put you right here. So for that, we're also gonna have to convert these into something along this line. Just so it's symmetrical. Alright, then we need a couple of you guys right here. Cool. Alright, we got wheel wells in the back. Let's do the same kind of setup. Okay, let's see what this guy got. Oh, he's got no engines. That's what he's got. Okay, let's put on some engines and then see what this guy's got. Hmm, we need a spot to put the engines. I uh, will put them right next to the cockpit. That'll be fine. Okay. Now let's see what this guy can do. Oh, that's a lot of pep. Woohoohoo! Um, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe not the right choice of engines. This isn't exactly supposed to be a race car. So let's just see if we can use some bulldogs instead. I like the bulldogs, they're reliable. We'll just put on a couple more. See how this works. We might have to add some extra weight. This is looking better. That's looking good. Yep, it still has got power to climb hills and stuff, but it's not gonna knock itself over with its own uh, acceleration, you see. All right, that's cool. Now we have to work on the gun. That is where the trickiness comes in. So, I want to make, as I was challenged to do, a surface-to-air missile launcher, basically, that has a controllable cannon so I can aim it and stuff. So, what have we got that could let me do that? We've got rotating servos. That's where you want to go. That's, that's where you want to go. That's just it. That's it. 
that's what we're gonna do. So we want it to go left and right and up and down. My favorite way of doing something like that is if you just take this kind of a block and put it there. Actually, no, it looks better if you do this kind of a block, put them there and there, and then you take another little servo and you plop it right. Uh, uh. No, no, why did you do that? Uh, uh, that's okay. There you go. And you go like that. Put them right here. Beautiful. I mean, kind of not very beautiful. You know what? We can sink it. Let's sink it down. Beautiful. Now, put the servo back. Good. Okay, that's better. I do want it to be aesthetically pleasing. Because that's how I do. Even though it's red and kind of weird. But that that's okay. That's okay. Put the servo here. We'll turn you few times nice okay so now let's program we want this guy to be left and right so left and right and you're going to be up and down let's see how that works now left right up down now you see the problem here is the same problem I faced in main assembly. These things... Ugh. Can I toggle? I can toggle. Okay. But I want it to be like... You go to... Yes, hold position. That's it. That's it. That's it. Not toggle. Alright. Problem solved here, guys. And also, speed go down. Look! Look at that! Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, baby. So let's, let's increase the angle of this. 140. We'll say that's good. Just so it can turn more. 140. Alright, let's see what that looks like. How you look at now? Oh yes, nice, nice, nice. That gives us a good range of motion. Okay. Now let's attach the arm. gonna kind of be off to the side at this point you know what I don't like that no 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 I goofed easily remedied just scooch it all over and I don't have to reprogram nice I'll just borrow one of you fill in the gap should have thought of that before I'd have the arm offset nice Okay, I want you to connect to there, not to the actual machine. Is that connected? Uh, that won't work. I need a space there so that it can pivot. All right, let's let's work on the actual. How long do we want it? That's cool. All right, let's let's just pop a let's pop a cannon on there. Let's pop a cannon, a large cannon. You know we're going all, we're going whole hog on this one. Oh yes. What are you gonna be space? I like to see it. Hmm. Seems to be a little unstable. Whee! Oh golly. He's moving really fast. Um, I think I have the servo still too high on speed. Oh. Well. There's a flaw in this design. Ah. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to be aiming over my back. Because I, I I don't think... If I'm ever shooting at someone behind me, I'll just turn around. I wonder why it's so shaky. It's kind of stopped now. But if I turn it facing front again, it's shaky. Is it just because I have such a long arm? Maybe I don't need that much. Because, really, that's just for show, I suppose. Let's see. You know what? We can have some more firepower on this. We can have more. Alright, let's see if that's more stable. It looks it. 
and it makes it feel a little slower. That's pretty good, honestly. That's actually really cool. Wow. Hey. I think I might have done it. Let me just slow down the servos a little bit more. To 0.2. And see how that see how that goes. Cause I want it to be able to I want to be able to drive with one hand and steer with the other. Oh, that's better. Look at that. The problem with this keyboard is I have an absolutely tiny up and down key. I don't know why it was designed this way, but it's like both the up and down keys are the same height as the left and right keys. It's just like they're cut in half. Like them together equals one key. So it's a little tricky to push. But look at this, it's working. Holy cow. Oh, when I start tipping on the side of the mountain, I can just shoot, <laughs> and it stabilizes. <laughs> That's really cool. Look at this thing, it's working. Ah! A little bit, a little bit hard when shooting directly to the side, because, woo, that recoil. But shooting straight ahead is fine, look at that. The suspension takes that all in stride. Whoa, this is really cool. Any, any targets for me to blow up? I don't think so. Ooh, I can shoot that. Hello. Let me, let me, let me, hold on a second. A little higher. Oh, a little lower. A little higher. A little lower. <laughs> oh, come on. Tiny bit lower? My guy keeps turning. Eh, eh. Oh, that was a direct hit. Come on. Hey! There we go, we knocked him down. Oh! Oh, I guess I'm supposed to get the... Oh, it's one of the challenges. Okay, well, might as well. Hey, you go right over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kinda messed that one up. As you can tell, I haven't played a lot of Rocket League. <laughs> ah! No. This guy really doesn't like the quick turns. I wonder why it's so unstable. We'll give a little bit of a back boop. Oh, I left the challenge area and it quit on me. Oh well. I did it guys, look at this. A surface to air missile launcher, kind of not really surface to air missiles. It kind of is just a, it's basically a, a, a an APC. Um, I guess it's anti-infantry then, but that's cool too. I think, I think I can consider that challenge 100% completed. Thank you so much for uh, giving that idea. That was a really good one. I had fun with this. And as always, guys, I want to see more. I want to see more ideas. Challenge me. Show me what you've been doing. See if I can copy what you've done. And uh, just just let me know, because I, I really love this game. I want to know what this, this community is doing. I want to hear about your creations. If there's any way for you to, like, show them to me if you're on Steam then you can like give me the Steam link on the workshop I don't know if it works for PlayStation I don't know how cross-platform machine sharing works or if it's even a thing but if it is I'd love to check them out because I want to like feature them and like see how they work and get some ideas from you guys you know that front is really dragging on the floor oh well <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Trailmakers. If you did, leave a like, and if you haven't already and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more Trailmakers and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.